Do you feel like everyone is trying to place a spin on the real estate market with no facts to back it up other than a feeling they had or a friend told them about the market or they heard it on the news? Well, I'm here to tell you the real story because there is a shift happening in the Florida real estate market. I'm going to explain in this video with actual real life facts so you can be empowered and make a good decision whether you are buying or selling real estate. All of us are concerned about inflation, gas prices, grocery prices, our stocks dropping, and the list goes on and on. However, everyone needs a place to live, and this information will keep you updated on what's happening in the housing market. The housing numbers were released last week, which would be May of 2022 compared to May of 2021. And even though last year was such an anomaly with pent-up demand, that's what we have to compare it to, because anything then would sell, just place a price on it, and it was gone. Well, the market is still hot, and I like to say Say that instead of four bedrooms in the home burning, there are now three. So it's still hot, but some progress is being made for a normal buyer and seller market. Well, here in Florida, our market is still something most will never experience anywhere else. However, the big news is shift happens. So let's talk about that. Inventory shift. Inventory remained very low for a long time. However, new listings are up by about 30% from the same time last year, the most significant increase that we have seen in a long time. But don't get too excited because what that means is we've gone from one month of inventory to about 1.3 months of inventory. And that's the statistic in my three markets, which is Martin, Palm Beach, and St. Lucie counties. So keep your eye on inventory of homes as it's the number to watch for a shifting market. We're still deep in a seller's market, but we're seeing some progress towards a balanced market. The increase is because many sellers were riding it out, wanting to wait until they felt it was as high as it was going to go. And now they have decided this is the time to sell. Remember the quote, pigs get fat and hogs get slaughtered? Well, sellers need to remember that quote when they consider pricing their homes realistically versus pricing them with an unrealistic price. Next, it's the listing price shift of dropping prices. Hear what I'm saying. Listing price, not selling price. The listing price is a seller being greedy. And the selling price is a seller having to come to reality. The sold prices are still high. It's the listing prices that are dropping. Medium sales price not shifting. We are still seeing medium price increases of over 30% since last year. Well, here are some graphs to show you what is happening in the market. This is starting to be a more normal demand, but there is no indication that the market is tanking, which many speak about with no actual knowledge. The market is still seeing a strong demand, but it's leveling to a more normal pace with most likely a 10% increase by the end of the year. Now we have our rising interest rate shift. Today's most significant issues affecting the real estate market are the highest ever inflation levels and rising mortgage rates. So for example, with an interest rate of 5.8%, that means that if you were purchasing a home for $300,000, the monthly mortgage payment has increased from $1,300 a month to now $1,800 a month. Plus in Florida, we we have rising insurance premiums too, which could really cause a buyer not to qualify for a loan. However, for all cash buyers, interest rates are not affecting their buying ability. Nearly 25% or more of the buyers in the market are paying all cash. So they're not concerned at all about the rising mortgage. So to summarize, the shift happens to be a little increase in inventory. Medium prices are still rising. Listing prices become more likely selling prices and interest rates are rising to make it a little more challenging for a buyer to qualify to be priced out of the market. These are really important things to think about. So suppose you're trying to buy the house of your dreams or you're selling your home. Hopefully this information really helps you with doing the right thing to make sure you either get the deal or your home sold. Please comment below because I would love to maybe give you some other ideas or suggestions or even if you have a place within the United States, it's not Florida, I have A-rated realtors around this country that are more than willing to help you and they would do a terrific job. Well, in the meantime, let's go to this video where I think it will help you understand more about the real estate market and I'll see you there.